Continuing our installation videos, we're gonna be talking about the Davidson Audio Tour Pack Harness. This is going to be for the Indian Challenger Pursuits, Chieftains, and Roadmasters. I'll explain the years in a minute. one harness is going to cover such a wide spectrum of bikes because we did our research we wanted to take a look at it we didn't want to have to offer you guys like 16 different harnesses for a tour pack so we took the time we figured out what we needed to do and we made it happen so this is actually going to fit all of them from all the kits that we offer so 2017 the current chieftains roadmasters and the 1920s to current challengers and pursuits same harness same operation the only difference is going to be on the 17 and 18 roadmasters and chieftains the tour packs just have spade connectors so you can literally just line those on the speakers the rest of them utilize a four pin connector so do you have the new speakers where like you get the new power band that's where this harness is going to come into play that's what uses these but the rest of them all still use the same six pin um, real quick, 17 and 18s, our preamp harness has this connector in it. So when you when we set up our amplifiers, this will come off the amp. You'll just plug it into the preamp harness. You're good to go. On the Challengers and Pursuits and the Chieftains Roadmasters, 19 and newer, um, the connector is separate. It's in the fairing. That's going to go from your amplifier to that connector. We'll show you that a little bit later. But what I wanted to show you was the process of changing out your tour pack speakers, which the tour packs are the same from 17 all the way to current, same process and everything. So we'll do that first. We'll plug our speakers in and then we'll go up to the fairing. We'll make that wiring connection to show y'all where that is and help you decide if this is a harness for you. That way you can maintain all the wiring is our harness uses the OEM. So the tour pack comes on and off as originally designed, no extra wiring just two adapters a small harness in the fairing and you're good to go so let's go grab some tools let's get this tour pack disassembled and get rid of those wimpy wimpy oems for these so so amazing and sexy cicada audio coax pro speakers look at that Ooh. i'm sorry i don't know if you guys think speakers look really good but to me cicada audio y'all killed it on the speaker this by far is my favorite, favorite sounding five and a quarter. Don't care who it is. The best coax five and a quarter on the market. You could use this in bikes, in cars. It's just amazing. Thank y'all Cicada for that. So enough talking. Let's go get this tour pack disassembled. We have the tour Indus pack right now. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and disassemble this tour pack. Like I said, this is going to be the same regardless. The only difference is going to be the wire connector themselves. 19 and newer is the four pin. So you'll know that if you can get power band or not, so that's if you have a 19 or newer, but this overall process is pretty much the same. Indian has not changed their tour pack. So if you have this full size tour pack, this is gonna cover the spectrum. So what we're doing here is we're gonna take these enclosures off because the speakers are secured from this side in. So the screws are out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this apart and show you that process, which all starts from the inside. Pretty much you just need a four mil and a six mil. Um, we like to use them like this. Pull your liner out, the back part comes out first, and then the inside part, you can see they interlock like that to hold themselves in. Pretty smart by Indian's part. All right, so what we're gonna do is these three bolts here, remove this seat, you take that off first because these two bolts on each side plus the top one, which we'll show you in a second, remove the enclosure, revealing the four screws. But real quick first, we'll depin, we'll disconnect, the two speaker connectors for the five and a quarters. And then we'll go ahead and take our six mil, which we've already loosened these, so I'm not that strong. And we'll just take these three off, revealing the uh, back pad. That is off. Which now you can see over here why because once you take this bolt off and this bolt off and this one here the enclosure will come off had to be removed because the seat covered it so let's go get those three off and get these enclosures out of here all 
Then up top right here, there's another six mil. You just gotta take this sucker out. This one over here. With this model, because he's, he added these armrests here, we've already loosened it, but these armrests need to come off first, which is gonna be two T40s. So they're down here. You just gotta loosen them, which we've already started. So we'll get these off and then we'll take the pods off. From there, these should just come right on off. Yep. So when you go to pull them off, just open them up just a little bit to get them around this metal part here and they just pretty much come right off. Again, right here. Just pry it a little bit, they come right off. Depending on the year is depending on if these are gonna be M4s or T20s. Um, the newer ones, we're seeing a lot more of these T20s. So you'll just unscrew this. Literally, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Just unscrew the speakers and pull them out. For putting these speakers back in, it really doesn't matter. You can put them in either side, but we do color coordinate them. So you got a green and a violet. The green is for the left or the clutch side. The violet is for the red or the brake side. So that is a color core code. That is strict car audio colors. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, just take it. You don't need to plug it in yet because you have access to it from the back side. So you literally just set it in there, screw it in, and then we'll put it all back together. not going to go through the entire detail putting this back together the only thing I am really going to show you is the wiring connection and then putting these enclosures back on real quick because sometimes they get a little tricky but it's really not that big of a deal like I said when you go to put them back on same thing just a little bit uh, pull it away just a little bit so that way you can clear and then literally they go right once the enclosures are on first you can put the enclosures on you're going to secure them in put the seat on then you can put your armrest on it just work in reverse order. So let's go back here to the tour pack. Really the only other thing back here to show you is speaker adapter, literally plug it in. And you know it's the right one because look at, OEM wires are green. These ones are purple. Plug them in, just set the connector right there, just like that, like factor pretty much intended. And Put it back together and you're done. So we're gonna go ahead and put this tour pack back together and then we'll go to the front of the bike and show you all where this connects up to and wrap this video up. Back to the front of the fairing. So at this point, you've got everything pretty much in here. This is all roughed in, but what I wanted to show you, DS, this is off of our amplifier. It's just pre-set up, ready to go. This is the connector that you're gonna have. So here's the matching OEM six pin connector. Guess what? You're done. That's it. Now, this is for the Roadmasters and Chieftains. Um, the 17s and 18s, this connector here will be in our preamp harness. So same thing, it'll be dangling down. You'll just plug it in from the amplifier into it. The challengers on the clutch side right here, this power unit here, that six pin will be plugged into the power unit. So just unplug it, plug it into our harness. It's that simple. I wasn't gonna take the harness off just to show you that it's that simple, seriously. That's gonna wrap it up for our tour pack speaker harness adapters. That's what we call them because one, it plugs into the OEM wiring for the tour pack and gives you the speaker wire adapters to put your speakers in the OEM locations. Same harness, Challengers Pursuits, Roadmasters Chieftains, it's the same harness. We developed it that way for a reason. So I hope this video helped y'all with the process of installing your speakers in your OEM tour pack. Again, this is gonna work for your 17 to 18 Chieftain and Roadmaster. Biggest difference is that the tour pack, you don't need the adapters, they have spade connectors, just line them to your speakers. 19 to newer Chieftain and Roadmasters, 20 to newer Challengers and Pursuits. It's the same thing we just showed you. Use those little adapters. The green is for the left, which is the clutch side. Violet is for the right, which is the brake side. Go ahead, hook them up like that. You'll be good to go. Plug it in underneath the fairing. Enjoy your music. 
This is set up for our aftermarket systems, or if you use an aftermarket system, that's what it's set up for. So that's it for this video. Hope y'all really, really enjoyed it. We enjoy filming these videos for y'all. It's a really good time. Helps us improve the product, continue developing more stuff. So if y'all have any questions or ideas for a new product, please let us know. We'd be more than happy to consider it and put it into uh, production if it's something that's needed in the market. So y'all have a great day. God bless all of you guys and come visit us here in beautiful Panama City, Florida.